Hello YouTube, Samurai Vision here, and today we're going to do the q and I'm going to give you a, like a tour of my setup and my dorm, kind of, and uh, we're going to talk about a few other things, so stay with me here. Um, I'm going to go through questions in a second. Uh, first, I apologize for the lighting, because this room has terrible lighting, but I have my computer screen on me. It kind of works. Um, so yeah, we're going to work around it. And this is probably also the first time you guys are really seeing me, so hello, nice to see you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go straight into the questions. Uh, first one here. For the Q&A, I have a bunch of questions. How old are you? Which school do you attend? And which games do you play other than AOE? All right, so I am 19 years old. I go to my local community college, and I'm a sophomore this year. So next year, I'll be transferring to a four-year school. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm trying to play soccer still. So um, depending on that, how, how that goes, we'll see where I go. Um, but yeah, other games other than AOE. I love the Battlefield series. That's definitely one of my favorite series. Um, my dad played that a lot, so he kind of passed it on to me. For other strategy games, I love the Total War series. That's really fun. Um, that's like a big scale kind of thing I like. Um, obviously other AOA games. Uh, FIFA, definitely. Even though this, FIFA, this year's FIFA has been kind of like... I haven't enjoyed this year's FIFA at all. I might actually make a video on that now that I have the capture card, which I'll show you guys in a minute, um, on why I don't like this one, but... Yeah, it's terrible. And then sometimes some racing games, sometimes some Need for Speed. Um, Need for Speed Carbon was a great game. Played that a lot as a kid. Uh, played the Mario games a lot as a kid. So kind of all over the place. I would definitely say strategy, um, sports, and first-person shooters would be my favorite uh, genres. Thank you for your question. Uh, next one here. What are your three favorite civs to play and as why? My favorite are the Russians, Iroquois, and Chinese because of how strong their defense is and how easy it is to quickly build a large army. That's a great question. Um, Britain is probably my favorite just because... So for me, my Age of Empires background kind of... Um, I had really strict parents growing up, so they didn't really allow me to play high-rated games if I wasn't that age. So I wasn't really able to play Age of Empires until I was 13-ish. And I didn't buy the game right out of the box. Um, I played the demo. And the demo, I don't know if anyone's ever played it, it features Britain and Spain. Um, and I would always play as Britain. I never played Spain. I don't know why. Probably because I played Britain AOE 2. We had AOE 2, so I played with Britain then. But yeah, just them having the ability to make more settlers from houses and the musketeers being good, love the rockets, love the longbows. That was just a really good combination for me. And I basically just played that sieve over and over and over and over again in the demo until I bought the game. So once the game came out, I was so used to them, I just continued to play as them. And I started making videos, and it kind of went on from there. I just continued to make um, videos with different sieves so I get used to them. So Britain would definitely be one. Second, I would probably say the Japanese. Um, I love the samurai, obviously, my name. I think that's a question also later, so we'll get to that too. Um... They have Yumi, which means they, they kind of have longbows like the British. Their musketeers are really good. They're a heavy infantry. Uh, flaming arrows are decent. Um, they're easy. Like It's pretty good to defend against early on. Like You're going to have to as Japan. And then the council lot as well. It's just a pretty good mixture of um, units. I think they're pretty good. And their calves good as well. Um, so kind of all over the place. And then third. Man. Third spot's hard for me. I want to say, do I want to say Germany? Or either Germany or the Ottomans, one of the two. I'll go with Germany or the Ottomans. That's hard. That's really hard. Um, I'm going to say Ottomans are so easy to play as, especially to rush early on. But Germany is just so dynamic with their, with their settler wagons. That's a hard question. Nah, I'm going to go with the Ottomans. I'm going to go with the Ottomans because they're so easy to play as. For me, like especially if you're aggressive, coming out of the box, you can easily rush them. Abbas guns, H2. Janissaries, H2. Heavy infantry and artillery in H2. That's so good. They're so hard to combo, uh, combat against because of their combo is so strong. So I would say Britain, Japan, and then the Ottomans. And then Germany right in there as well. I, I was just thinking about Russia too. I'm like, Russia's really good too? We're going to stay with those. All right, next question here. Um, how do I play AoE 3 multiplayer? The game said I failed to join server. Okay, I remember getting this a lot too. I'm pretty sure it's a firewall issue. 
you definitely want to double check on your firewall because that is a I know if you have your firewall closed it will cause that if that's your cause I don't know um, I'm trying to think I get this question asked all the time there's definitely like forums where people have issues and they get them fixed I don't think it's something to do with your ESO account if you're trying to go on ESO because I know you can only have one account um, and if you got like banned or something that might be an issue but I don't think that would be it and then also on Tuesdays I'm gonna say central time I'm central time so I'm gonna say from like 12 or like 11 to 1 like for two hours um, they have the servers closed so make sure you're not joining the, during that time as well thank you for your question um, next one here how long have you been playing um, first civil played I'm gonna say civilization uh, I've been playing obviously in, since I was 13 I'm 19 now so it's been six years um, I played a few years before then, like I would sneak on and play it. My mom didn't want me playing that stuff. I would sneak on at night and play AOE 2. Good times, really good times. Um, so I'm going to say seven years combined with that little miss period. But my dad would play all the time. My dad got me into the game, really. He would play all the time, AOE 1. I remember way, way back at our old house, he would play it. He would get the catapults and have the monks, um converting the guys and i would i was just like oh my god i need to play this with the catapult especially i thought it was so cool it was so cool such a cool game so i kind of got from him and then we just went on from there um so i'm gonna say around seven years and then first civilization played as like i said britain um because of the demo um this other person asks any other favorite games yes um shogun 2 total war is probably up there Top three for sure. Age of Empires is obviously up there. Age of Empires 3. Shogun 2 Total War. Great, great game. I really wanted to record videos on that. Um, but it's kind of late in like the era of the game. Uh, if they if they make another historical one, which I'm pretty sure they're going to, the Total War series, I'm definitely going to pick that up right out of the box and do a campaign on from there. I was going to do it with Rome 2, but I had some issues with my computer and didn't really work out too well. And like that game in general had a lot of bugs. And then the current one... one um, Warhammer. I'm not into that kind of stuff, so I just kind of stay away from it. I'm more of a historical kind of guy. That's why the Age of Empires series is so appealing to me, because I like history a lot. Um, so it kind of goes hand in hand there. And then he also says, are you going to post matches that you lose? Because I feel like I would also learn from that. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that more. Um, I normally don't post losses just because it doesn't give a good example of the strategy that I'm doing. I normally try to get a win and post it that way so you guys can see like the strategy and a good effect um but like that france fast fortress i feel like i did the strategy well and it i just didn't execute it to the best of my ability like i feel like if a nerd player did that same exact thing he could have won easily um so yeah i'm definitely gonna do it more often i'm still gonna try to get a lot of wins out there um but yeah i, I will for sure more often uh thank you for your question samurai your videos keep getting better and better keep up the good work thank you very much uh, my question, can you explain for us how to do, how do you play the strategies of Age of Empires, or can you do a video on it? I'm going to say that's like how I make the strategies. I'm going to go with that. If it's not, ask the question again, and I'll try to answer in comments. But how I make the strategies normally, um, a lot of times I just kind of go online and like search up certain strategies, because there's so many write-ups on them, and I kind of merge a few different ideas. So like, I'll, for example, I'll look up like a, like a German rush strategy, and I'll see some guy do this strategy with Expos, and then this other guy do it with Cav or Ulflons, and I'll kind of like merge it to what works best for me, because not necessarily like just a straight write-up, um, you can just, I mean, you can go off it. Like for example, the 10 for 10 strategy, I didn't think about that. I completely went straight to the books. Um, there were a ton of write-ups on that. I just followed it play by play, and it worked out really, really well. Um, but some strategies, I just kind of do my own, like the longbow strategy, I completely just did that out. That's the main strategy I've been doing ever since I played as a British. Just spam longbows because they're so good at H2. Um, so, yeah, I kind of do a combination of online and then my own opinion on how it'll work best. Um, let's see. Can we play with you? Yes, of course. Um, as I said in my last video, if you add me on ESO, uh, then message me and I can add you back. There's so many of you guys, it's hard for me to keep track. And then if I'm doing a team game that day, I'll try to invite you guys. No matter what level you are, no matter what rank you are, I don't, I don't care. I just want to have fun with you guys, and that's what the game's all about. So, yes. 
Um, hold on. I have my monitor as my light. Pro line probably went down. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> went down a ton. Um, okay, sweet. Next question here. Do you watch cricket as, as a sport? No, I don't. Um, we did... Our dorm does get a channel that I think it's Sky Sports. They do show cricket sometimes. I've seen it occasionally. I don't really watch it, like, stay in depth with it at all. Um, definitely soccer or football. Um, if you're Most of you are probably out of the country, so I'm going to say football. Um, and then some rugby, too. Rugby is very interesting. I think rugby is a pretty cool sport. And then some hockey as well. Um, so thank you for your question. Um, do you play on Game Ranger? If so, what is your name? I do not play on Game Ranger. I used to with AoE2. Because they did not have the servers up at one point. But since ESO Online works, it's so easy for me to just go in there and do it. So I stick to ESO. All right, that's all from that like section. Um, whoops. Let me go back in there. One second. I just, I just want to keep this one straight cut so it's like legit. I don't really like cutting it up too much. And this is my first time really doing a down-earth video. All right. Um... What club do you back in Europe? Okay, that's definitely soccer. Um, good question. When I was a kid, I definitely supported Arsenal a lot because of Thierry Henry. Absolutely love the guy. One of my favorite players. When he came to America, I saw him a few times. Um, absolutely fantastic player. I love him so much. Uh, but recently, I said like the past four years, I've just been supporting clubs that either my favorite players are on or are clubs that are just like labeled as underdogs kind of. So like Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, um, Roma, because I, I love Francesco Totti. Uh, Roma's up there. Um, I love Sanchez. He's on Arsenal. He's pretty good. Um, I kind of just back my favorite players. Cavani, I like Cavani. Um, I used to at least. He's not. He hasn't been doing too good recently. Um, kind of just all over the place, but definitely the underdogs. Like Leicester City, for example. I was a huge underdog fan before that thing went off, and then once they started doing really well, it was fantastic to watch the whole season. Um, so yeah, I would say underdogs in general. I would tip off Arsenal. Um, God, I used to love Zidane, so I guess I have a little bit of sympathy for Real Madrid. Um, but then again, I love Cesc Fabregas, so I guess I have some for Barca. Kind of all over the place. I like to be more of a neutral supporter um, because it just you enjoy the game so much more if you just kind of anal analyze it from both sides. So I would say an underdog, um, if that makes sense for you. All right, have you ever played the Improvement Mod? Um, no, I haven't. I've always played vanilla. Uh, going into some mods is definitely something I would be interested in doing. I don't think my laptop can handle that right now because it's really struggling. I mean, the video came out great, but it's almost maxed out, like, doing the capture card and the gameplay on max at the same time. So if I do any mods, it will be back in May when I'm back in my old setup. Um... Thank you guys for your questions again. Let's see here. How old are you, and are you a pure Yankee or a mix of some sort? <laughs> I'm 19, as I said, and I am a pure Yankee. 100% uh, American. Um, question, can you do some strange strategy like the disciple China Disciple Rush? It would be insane if you could pull it off with some victory. Thank you. Wow, that would be pretty crazy. I've never really thought about that. Um, that would definitely be something kind of cool. Or you could do like a, a Guardian Treasure Rush or something. Definitely would be interested in doing that. I'll, I'll look at that down the road. Um, but that would be a really tricky to pull off. Maybe someday to answer that. Maybe someday. Um, on what do you play this and what specs do you have? Um, I'm doing a new setup now, so I'll try to link the new setup below. I'll put it in my PC and stuff. Um, but it's running pretty well. Um, overall, so I'll put the specs below. Um, has Age of Empires 3 been something very special to you since you started this channel? Yes, of course. Um, for me, when I started the channel, I was really low in life. Like, a lot of my friends went away from me. They weren't doing things I supported, and my family was having hard times. Um, my parents were thinking about getting divorced. My girlfriend broke up for me at the time. Which, like, looking back on it, it wasn't a big deal. But, like, when you're young, you always, like, everything that's going on in your life right now is the whole world to you. You don't really get the whole perspective yet. Um, so it was difficult for me. So I just wanted something to do to keep my mind occupied. And I started recording videos. And, like, it's funny because my first two videos have the most views and they're the worst videos. My beginner's video isn't that bad. But my best strategy video 
that is not the best video. It's so funny um, watching that. Like, and how many views it has. It's crazy. But yeah, it's definitely something special. I love the game. Um, and like when I started, I was like, no one really makes entertaining videos. Like people have made really in-depth ones. I was like, I could totally do better than some of these guys. So I'm so happy I started doing it. Um, Sue Rush doesn't make calf. <laughs> I shake your say. True. Um, my question, what is your favorite civilization A Vampires DLC include? Great Britain, as we mentioned. Why is your name Samurai Revolution? Great question. So when I made my channel, I wanted to have like a really unique, awesome name. And I was thinking, I was like, all right, Age of Empires is a historical game. I want to do some strategy games that are historical. Um, and most like pretty good YouTubers, like a lot of them have two different things in one name. So I was like, all right, what's some kind of catchy that I like that I'll combine? I was like, let's combine my two favorite time periods in history, the J Japanese Samurai and the American Revolution. And I was like, boom, Samurai Revolution sounds awesome. So that's where it came from, just kind of a thought in my head. Um, but I like it. It's unique. Um, unfortunately, on PlayStation, I can't fit it in a gamer tag, so that's a struggle. But other than that, it's all good. Um, but yeah, thank you for your question. Was wondering, what do you study in college? Otherwise, super content. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Um, I'm right now in college to become a nurse. I When I first came in, I was undecided. I definitely knew that I wanted to do something health-related. I love the human body. I love that kind of stuff. It's very interesting to me, like biomechanics, kinesiology, that kind of stuff is very interesting to me. Um, so right now I'm going into nursing just because it's a pretty broad field. I can kind of go anywhere with that. Um, so that's the game plan right now. And we'll see where it goes in the long term, but right now I'm sticking to that. Um, how much AOE 3 do you play that you don't film or upload? I know that you usually only upload videos which you win, which is understandable. What does your win rate look like overall? I probably play over a weekly basis. When I record, it probably takes me, I'm going to say a couple hours. I probably, with the old sub, I recorded three times a week, and then I probably did, so that's like six hours. I probably did around 10 hours a week, um, maybe 12, depending on if I was winning or losing a lot. My win strategy is like 52%. It's really even. A lot of times when I try a new strategy, it doesn't work out. So, or like I, I'm getting used to it. So I'll have a couple losses and then I'll have a really good win. Like for example, when I did the Dutch Fast Fortress, the first few times I played with the Dutch, it was not good. I had a lot of losses. And then once I got it going, like getting used to the coin and everything, then boom, it just all clicked together. So I'd say about 52%. There are a lot of strategies I try that don't work. Um... So I would, it would be pretty even. And like, I think I'm a master sergeant right now. I've played, the, I've had so many games on that account that even if I had like 20 wins in a row, my rank's not going to change that much. Like if I get, I'm at like a 17. So if I get like 10 losses, I'll probably get on the sergeant or something, but I'm right on that border. Um, but yeah, I've improved so much since I've played way back when, but my win rate is probably going to stay the same really. Um... How are you able to have your units travel in a path? Sounds stupid, but... Blah, blah, blah. So you just hold on shift. Anything that you want to do, um, like successive commands, you hold down shift and you do it. On my old keyboard, my shift key like broke because I kept pressing it so many times. So I got this keyboard. It's been a little bit better, but um, man, I hit that key so much that it just died on me. Um, all right, that's the last one here. Will you still record in college? Yes. I have a video up right now. Let me show you guys. Um, let's go in here. Whoa, sorry. Uh, so this is kind of how I do it here. We got my documents. Um, nope, we're in videos. So we got this one right here. It is a Dutch video. Um, it looks fantastic. The quality looks so good. Super excited. We're playing with the Dutch. This is going to come out on Friday. Um, another thing I want to say is uh, I want to try to do two videos a week. And I'm kind of going to go around my room here with my setup. So this is my dorm. I'm going to try to do two videos a week, possibly three if something goes well. Um, but yeah, two videos a week mainly. So let me, go, let me know what you guys want for those two days. Um, if you can tell, I have a, basically a whole room to myself. My dorm mate left, he left this in the winter break, uh, it's obviously January, and he didn't come back. So I have this whole room to myself. I'm combining both these beds into a king bed. 
I got this set up here, both these desks combined, I got this dresser here. And this is kind of how I do it. So I got my keyboard, my microphone, and then the, I got both of those plugged into my computer, which is here, this is my laptop. I'll put the specs below. It's a really good laptop. My dad got it through work, and then he got a better one, so I got the old one, and it's so good. Um, I'm so blessed to have it. I got my ethernet coming in from the other room. I got my Elgato plugged in. Here is the Elgato. Um, it's HD60. I didn't get the 60S because it would probably blow this thing up. Honestly, it is on the edges doing this thing, but it works. It's fantastic. Um, I got the USB HUD here because I need an extra port. Got my Bruce Lee flash drive. That thing is freaking awesome. Um, got that in there. Microphones in there. Fans here so I can blow this through this thing here. So I work at Target, and um, these, this was in a box, and I basically blow the air through here so it cools it off, and it can cool off the bottom. So this thing doesn't overheat, which is fantastic. I got my headphones in here. Um, I think that's it. This goes to Elgato. This is the HDMI. So I got the HDMI going to the Elgato. Elgato output HDMI goes into my monitor, which is what I use for my PS4. Normally this is on top of my PS4, but I had this stacked up here so you could see me. Um, but yeah, that's about it. It works out really well. We got all of this stuff here. I got to put so much stuff up. I still have to take down a bunch of stuff. Um, let me just get up there. All right. I still have to take down, put up a bunch of stuff. I don't know how I'm going to organize this all yet, but I just got the room formatted. Um, let me get this back up so you can see me. Also, if you go on YouTube and type in white page, because that's what I did so I could, you guys can see me. Um, it is the weirdest thing ever. A bunch of it, the whole Google search is just white. It's so funky. Anyways, I think that's it. I have this here. Hold on. I'm going to go through a couple more things. Um, I'm probably going to be posting some like video vlogs like this. Maybe I really want to try to do some new things this semester. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just stop posting it. I really just want to try it out. Um, where are we at here? Uh, also, I want to know if you guys want me to make a Twitter so I can keep you updated. I can totally make a channel-only Twitter and just keep you guys updated through that. If you guys would like that, let me know. Um, and then also, new games are coming out. So, I definitely want to get some PlayStation games out on there. I might do some Battlefield gameplay. Might do some FIFA stuff. Just to change it up a little bit. I'm de I will keep posting two Age of Empires videos a week. That's going to be a for sure thing. And let me know what two days you guys would like me to post that. I'm, I was thinking Monday, Friday. Um, but if you think something would work better, then let me know, please. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to do that two times a week. And then if I do another video, it'll probably be on a Wednesday, just to, like add it in there. I would like to switch it up. A game I was looking at is called Ultimate General Civil War. It's a strategy game on Steam right now. It's early access. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. You guys let me know if that's something you'd like me to do. I'll definitely do it. I really want to do like a new upcoming game so I can like grow the channel a little bit more. Um, but I would like to keep a strategy related too. So let me know on that. Got this up in a room tour. So I think that is it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all your questions. One more thing. I have a shout out here. Um, Blackhawk256, you are a legend, my friend. This guy donated $10 to help me buy this capture card. Thank you so much. You are a legend. Um, I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Absolutely loving it so far. Um, the channel is going great. We're getting so, I've gotten like 100 subscribers every week since I started posting, which is fantastic. Just keep growing it. Keep growing the community. It's been good. Um, Interjection has hit me up on possibly doing something with him. Um, so we'll see how that goes. For now, if anything, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I like doing it like this. I don't really have too big of a desire to do it with other people, but every once in a while it would be nice. I don't want to do it all the time. I, I like what doing what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, let me know if I'm online. If you guys want to play, hit me up. We'll definitely play. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.